Hello everyone, welcome to 3ddesignacademy.com. In this lesson, I'm going to show you guys how to make a triangle. Now, making a triangle in Alias is actually not that straightforward. And one of the reasons is because in nerve surfacing, everything has to be based off on a four-sided surface. So let me show you guys what I mean. So in order to make a triangle over here, there are a couple of things I can do. Uh, the most standard way and the recommended way is to make a four-sided surface like this, in this case, a rail. And I'm just going to project a curve like this and I'm going to trim it. Now, even though it, the final result is a triangle, this is actually a trimmed four-sided surface. So this is how it should be. Now you can, of course, if you're in a hurry, you can just skin between these two surfaces like this. Now, this works and at least when it's flat, the highlight looks fine. But the problem is that this is actually a four-sided surface too. So let me show you guys what I mean. So if I were to just bring this over here, now there are one side over here, there's two, a second edge over here and third edge over here. But if you look at this, there are actually two CVs stacked on top of each other. And if I were to pull one of them like this, you'll realize that this is also a four-sided surface. Now, that actually causes or can cause a lot of problems later on. And one of the examples that I can show you guys is the highlight. So I'm just going to create a flat surface like this and I'm just going to give it a little bit of crown. Now, if it's just dead flat, it looks fine, which is well, which works. But let's say I add a little bit of crown like this, 0 0.02, and you see that the highlight is starting to act a little bit funky. Now, the, the only reason why it does this is because that there's a little bit of crown, but if I were to add a little bit of crown over here, you'll see that this actually becomes a little bit sharp point over here, which might not work, especially for class A surfacing. So this is why if you have a surface like this, what you want to do is you will always, always want to create a surface and just project it. Now, in this case, uh, there's a little bit of a gap. So uh, what you might want to do is instead of using this edge, you might want to use this edge in order to create this. There is always going to be a little bit of a compromise, especially over here. You will also see that there is a little bit of a gap, but there are things that you can do to control it. One of them, which one of them is do a little bit of rotation like this. Now it's not perfect, but it gets pretty close. And as you can see, the highlight is a lot more consistent than what I had before. Now, that said, however, let's look at some common examples in cars. So right now I have an image of a pulsar over here and you will see that there is a triangle shape over here, which the surface from the top is intersected here. And that creates a very nice, I guess, um, light catcher. And well, there are a lot of examples like this all over automotive design. So that's just one example. As you can see, um, this is Audi e-tron and it, well, it's not a perfect triangle. It's It's got a little bit of crown, but as you can see, there is also an intersection like this. And uh, even this hood washout over here, you can say that there is sort of a triangle, triangular example. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to create, recreate this, just this section to, uh, to show you guys how to do this. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, well, let me just delete that. And I'm just going to copy and paste this curve over here. And let me just hide these ones in a different layer. So what you want to do is you just want to mimic this edge over here. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of crown like this. And let's just slant it back so that it is kind of like a front fascia. Okay, so what you want to do is I'm just going uh, just to just strike a curve. And let me just make it into a degree two like this. Let's make this into a degree two. And I'm just going to use the stretch tool to move it a little bit forward because there's a little bit of angle like this. Now, of course, you can always add a little bit of crown because no surface should be flat. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a rail. Let me just turn the rotation off because I no longer need it. I'm just going to do a rail like this. Okay, so that basically creates a bottom surface. Now, uh, really, now the next steps really depend on how or which edge is, I guess, a primary. But if you, let's say, you want to make this edge really nice and clean, what you can do is you can always create a curve from here to here like this and just project. 
in order to create a nice COS like that. Now, as far as this surface goes, so what you want to do is you just want to basically do the same thing. I'm just going to copy and paste this one over here. So I'm just going to copy and paste and let's just use the stretch tool like that. I'm just going to move it forward like this. Now, the location really depends on your design or whatever you want. Uh, so I'm just going to give it a little bit lean like this. And what I can do is I'm just going to do a rail one and one. And I'm just going to create a surface like that. Now, the only problem is you'll see that there are multiple spans. So I'm just going to try to cr uh, clean that up a little bit. Looks like rebuild takes it uh, down a little bit. But still not enough. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do an explicit control. Looks like Gen 2 and 2 works. 2 and... Oh, 2 and 2 doesn't work. Uh, 2 and 3 works. And that's all you have to do. Now, all you have to do is just trim it out in the shape that you want. So I'm just going to... Well, let's let just... Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to cut it straight and just leave it as is. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a curve from the front like this. I'm just going to project it over here and that creates a nice triangular transition like that. Now, of course, there are different shapes over here, but I'm just trying to make a triangle. Now, let's say um, this edge is what's really critical because right now there is already a hood. Uh, there are a lot of surfaces that depend on that. So in this case, what you want to do is just want to um, in most cases, what you want to do is you just want to uh, copy and paste whatever the uh, curve that was used for the uh, bottom one, because that usually gives a really nice gesture. So let me show you what I mean. So if I were to just recreate this curve like this and just make it straight, I'll just and I'm just going to use the same uh, same thing like this, you see that this creates a little bit of bow over here, and it's not exactly following what I need to do over here. But instead of doing that, let's just delete this curve and let's just, uh, let's say I just copy and paste this one over here like that. And I'm just going to use the stretch tool to snap it over here. Now, this curve has a very similar characteristics to the curve at the bottom. And let's see what happens. So if I were to do a rail like this, you see that the intersection is actually pretty clean. So. When you're making a triangle like this, because you are actually intersecting two surfaces over here, you always, always want to make sure that the uh, gesture of the curve at the top and the gesture of the curve at the bottom, if you were to create something like this, is very similar. So uh, let's just finish it off with a fillet over here and uh, let's call it done. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a surface fillet over here. It's going to be 10 and I'm just going to do like uh, do something like this. Well, let's make it a little bit bigger, just to show you guys uh, a better example. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make everything into a default like this. Okay. So I'm going to show you two different types of finishes. So right now it looks like it's just washing it off over here. So and uh, I think this one is actually a fillet. So what I can do is I can actually make this into edge align, and then it'll take care of that. But let's say you will actually want to finish this as a hard edge. So in that case, what you can do is, first of all, I'm just going to delete the construction history over here. And I'm just going to extend the COS over here like this. That takes care of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to patch it in with a square. So it's going to be one, two, three, and four like this. And that takes care of it. Now, However, you do have to make sure the continue is correct because right now you're building a fillet. So basically this side should be curvature and this side, because it's a continuation of a fillet, should also be curvature. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set two as curvature and I'm going to set three as curvature. Now, you'll notice though uh, that there is a little CV, uh, CV, basically when I set it to curvature, you see that these two went in. So because I have this set of uh, CVs over here set as curvature and this set as curvature, there are four CVs that just floating around. So in this case, what you want to do is set it to explicit control. And I'm just going to make this into degree five so that it matches the structure over here. And I'm just going to make sure that three is curvature like this so that this way, there are only uh, basically this surface over here, at least in this direction, it's only degree three, which means that there are no 
floating CVs that just are free on their own. They are all restricted by continuity like this. And now let's just check the highlight. And that looks pretty good. All right, so that is how to create a triangle. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.